Life's biggest moments typically follow the most stressful ones. Hi, it's Amanda Carroll. Welcome to the Get Your Brave On podcast. This is going to help you rebuild your life after any kind of plot twist. Season two, episode three, connecting the dots backwards. Ski down. I remember when I was a little girl and my dad declared I was ready to ski my first black diamond run. We were in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, where I learned to ski at four years old. I was an athletic kid. I knew that meant a trip up the tram. It was this long, intimidating ride, especially for a little girl like me, surrounded by big, tall, male expert skiers. I remember them all smiling at me, encouraging me, and saying, add a girl when I got on board. I've always been an athletic kid, and combine that with an Eagle Scout dad that didn't have any boys, you get a really strong woman. Sometimes he would push me out of my comfort zone. I think that's his life's mission. It's funny how it works that way. I remember putting my skis on and staring down at the tip of them while at the top of an extremely steep slope with a few almost frozen tears on my cheeks, whining to my father, Dad, I can't do this. I don't want to do it. Please don't make me do this. He did the unthinkable and just skied down, yelling back up at me. See you at the bottom, Mandy. There I stood, cold, scared, mad, with a little rush of butterflies in my stomach, pondering how long would he wait, or wondering if I could just walk down? The only way was down. So I pushed off my ski poles and conquered that black diamond mogul run. I fell about 15 times, but I kept getting up, and by the time I got to the bottom of the slope, that adrenaline rush charging through my body said, Daddy, can we do that again? <laughs> that is one of my life-defining moments where I learned the joy of pushing through fear and living an adventurous life anyway. That's what God wants for you and I. He wants his daughters to be brave. He wants his daughters to tackle the obstacles in our way, trusting that he will be with us. He wants you to enjoy the adventurous life he gave you. What is that steep slope that you are standing on top of looking down, doubting whether or not you can conquer it right now? I want you to imagine your loving father at the base of that slope, arms open wide and waiting for you to just push off. Yeah. You might fall a few times, but that's the adventure. I'm here to pick you up. That's the lesson. Be brave. Fall. Get up. Trust. Do it again. Life is knocking. So are you ready to answer the door? Because I want to see you at the bottom with me. <laughs> that's a good thing. The bottom of the slope. So you're ready. Last episode, we circled a date on the calendar of when we wanted to accomplish our goals. Those goals that in the first episode, we wrote that we wanted to accomplish in our letter. Today, it's how to start chasing those things down. It's time to ski down. We're going to connect the dots backwards. Getting your brave on to get the life you really want happens in small steps. Don't beat yourself up. If you've started and stopped the same goal multiple times, I have to. It is okay. Today in this podcast, you are going to learn how to finally stop the starting and stopping and move forward with a concrete plan to achieve your goal. We started with writing yourself a letter on who you want to be and what you want to accomplish. Next, we circled a date on the calendar of when we wanted to accomplish that one thing in the future. Today, we learned how to connect the dots backwards to get everything done so you achieve the date in time. It's really not as hard as you think. And again, you are are so normal if you've had to restart. I have so many times gone after a book deal and quit and wrote a little bit more and stopped, but it all stops now. Brave babes, we can accomplish this together. The reason why we get distracted and fail at our goals is because we can get really overwhelmed at the end result. It seems impossible, so we just give up. Instead, we're going to work backwards. Success happens when we focus on one step at a time to get to the goal. So after this podcast, or even right now, as you're listening, just go get a sheet of paper, um, maybe page three in your journal, <laughs> and write your goal and your date at the top. 
We can use mine as an example. So for me, I picked August 1st again as my date. Get a book deal. I'm getting close. Next, on each line underneath, I want you to write out the steps it will take for you to get to that goal backwards. For example, get a publisher, or find a book agent, send out book proposals, get a list of agents to send book proposals to, write a book proposal, get as detailed and as small as possible. Seriously, we're going to set yourself up for success. You can erase, we can rearrange, just make your list and we're going to put it in backwards order. This way, you will have one small brave thing to do every single day as you work towards your goal. I could get even more detailed and add all kinds of tasks such as make a phone call, write a chapter, research other books about bravery. Why be so small when we are talking about doing big things? You are creating a habit of bravery. Bravery is not something that you inherit. It's not in your genes, not your DNA code. Bravery is a habit that you practice every single day. Like my dear friend and fellow brave babe, Rachna, said in her Dear Me letter in challenge number one, she just started with making her bed every single day. It seemed like a simple task, but that helped her stay on track. Accomplishing one brave step every single day builds your confidence to do even more brave steps the next day. And when you cross one item off of your list, you've built the confidence within you to go off to the next one. When I first became a single mom, I knew I planned to move out of our five bedroom home that we all shared together on August 1st. I couldn't pay that mortgage on my part-time DJ salary. It seemed daunting. I contemplated moving back home. My parents even invited me to come and heal for a while, like I've shared with you, but I've never really been a big fan of going backwards in life. That's not what brave babes do, right? We move forward. Even if things look bleak, never go back. Always move forward. So I made this list of all the things that needed to happen to move somewhere by August 1st. I put them in reverse order. And then I started at number one get a job. <laughs> I put feelers out there to all of my radio friends, put together a demo, started interviewing. My second step was booking that moving van. I called pods and set it up. That way I knew I could not go back. One of the first things they ask you for is that zip code of where you're moving to. I had to tell them, uh, I'll call you back. I'll let you know when I figure that out. <laughs> I booked a moving van even before I had a place to move to. Isn't that crazy? I was just working the steps. But that's the thing about the steps is if you know you're just doing one thing at a time, you don't get freaked out and overwhelmed at the whole process. And that way you protect yourself from quitting. You following me here? I look back and I'm kind of shocked by my own bravery. But the thing is, it wasn't all me. That's the secret of getting your brave on and living a strong and courageous life is God promises he is with you. It's Joshua 1.9. What this whole podcast and website and my radio show is based on. Have I not commanded you, declares the Lord, to be strong and courageous. And then he promises to go with you wherever you go. What could you not accomplish believing that? It's not an option. It's a command for us. We're not supposed to live these safe lives where we never rock the boat or never chase down dreams. We're supposed to be strong and courageous knowing that God is going to help us and protect us and be by our side. What happened next after scheduling that pod and not having a zip code where I was taking it to was unfathomable to me. I shared this in the last episode. In case you missed it, I got the call. I got hired for the biggest network in Christian radio. I was chosen to go live on over 400 stations on K-Love. Isn't that just like God? Like he promises to do exceedingly above whatever we ask, think, or imagine, especially when we put ourselves out there in our lives of faith. I just wanted a job. I didn't realize at my darkest moment, God would give me my dream. And the payoff was being able to call pods and give them a California zip code and move into a home that I rented on my own off a of Craigslist. Hey, it was 2011. <laughs> the payoff is coming for you too. Once you show God your faith, he will show you his faithfulness.
You can do this. I know because it worked for me. If I can move across the country by myself with three little kids to chase down a dream job, you can go after your dream too, step by step. Here's the deal. Along the way, you're going to have little freakouts. You just have to remember God's promise that he is with you wherever you go, step by step. I remember when it set in for me what I was doing. Oh my goodness. I am moving across the country by myself with three kids for an under where I know only one person, the guy that hired me and I have no family and I moving into a home I saw online only. What did I just do? I got my brave on. If I had contemplated this massive move on the day that I circled my date on the calendar with puffy eyes right after my husband had abandoned me and my three children, I would have been paralyzed by fear. Instead, I took the steps. I worked backwards and I was off and running. Do you know what day that administrative assistant booked our flight to move to California for? August 1st, the date I circled on the calendar. Working backwards works, my friends. It is possible to get the life that you dream about. I just took the proper steps. Today, work backwards, baby. And watch what God will do with you. Okay, here is your action item. I want you to sit down with that piece of paper and write out all the things you got to do to accomplish your goal in order. And then put it in reverse order. <laughs> Work the steps backwards, connect the dots backwards. And your first action item, I would love it if you would get on the Get Your Brave On 10 week challenge on Facebook. It's a group just for you, for our brave babes and share what your first step is to do just one at a time. Do not get overwhelmed on how long that list is. Do not get overwhelmed at making the list. Do not get overwhelmed by step number two. You're just going to do one a day or one at a time, just think about step number one. Patty is one of my brave babes. She took the Get Your Brave On challenge in my private Facebook group, started working her steps backwards. Her goal is to get a real estate license. She wants to do it by September 1st. Her first action item after she wrote out everything that she needed to do was sign up to take the real estate exam. The next thing on her list was to put herself on a plan to start studying. It can be that simple, just one chunk at a time. Here's another example. Shannon, another one of my brave babes in the Get Your Brave On Challenge on Facebook, has a goal to move into a better neighborhood for her child. The first action item she has is creating a savings account and sticking to it. She figured she could afford $200 a month, and with tax returns, she says she's going to save more, and those are her steps. She's a single mom and wants a safe place for her son to live. Let's do it. Tracy, her goal is to lose weight she's gained over the past year and a half working from home was not good for her so she said i'm going to start a 12-week challenge on monday that's her first action item instead of being so focused on how am i going to lose all this weight just one thing was find a place that i love to work out at i just have this vision that we will all help each other in this group this is why I think it's so important to go to getyourbraveon.info and join and go to the private Facebook group. Just search Get Your Brave On 10 Day Challenge because I know that there's someone that has a first step and a goal that another brave babe could help with. Oh, I know how to do that. Or I got the guy that you need to call. Or I know the person that could hire you for that job. We can help each other achieve these steps. That's the dream. Let's share secrets with each other instead of competing with each other. Let's recommend each other for jobs. It's like our own Brave Babe sorority. I want to hear from you. How is this process going for you? You can call me at 530 for amanda Ask any questions. Or if you want to share your story for the podcast, I would absolutely love it. If you haven't yet, sign up to be a Brave Babe at getyourbraveon.info. And I'll send you some information and you can also go to Facebook and just search Get Your Brave On in groups and request to join the 10-week challenge. And you can get that community of brave babes supporting you on a deeper level. I love to hear from you. I love to see how you're going through the steps. I'm here for you.
Next week, we're going to talk about mindset mastery. How now that we've circled a date on the calendar and we've got our steps, how we can have a positive mindset through this all and not get freaked out and overwhelmed. Mindset mastery is going to be amazing. That is next week in episode four. And please remember, my friend, you've got a lot of great things coming around the corner for you. Don't expect calamity. Expect hope. A confident expectation of good things from God because life's biggest moments and victories typically come right after the most stressful ones. I'm here to get you through. Get your brave on.